What's up gamers? Hey, once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Game and Reverse DL channel. Major news today for Adrenaline users. We're going to be installing Adrenaline version 2. This is the new update from the flow. Also, Freakler took his time to update his Adrenaline EC installer. He just made our lives way easier, guys. So what do we need? We need a PlayStation Vita on firmware 3.60 with Hancock installed. We also need Vita Shell installed. And we're going to need the EC installer version 1061.vpk. This is Freakler's VPK or tool. As for the installation, we're going to download the file from the developer's GitHub and install it. We're going to uninstall the old adrenaline file and install the new one. We will also go and test Adrenaline and verify its settings. As always, the links will be in the description. Remember to check my Twitter, guys. Enjoy, gamers. So, just wanna give a shout out to Freakler. Hey, guy, thanks so much. You just made us all gamers our lives easier for those on 3.60 as you can see his github we have the vpk that we will need i'll go ahead and leave the source link in the description as well so for now i'm going to be downloading that file i'm going to really need it right now and it's going to make my life easier also the flow vita shell i'll go ahead and leave that link and as well, I'm going to go ahead and leave Adrenaline version 2, the source, so you guys can read a little bit more. So now I'm going to connect my PlayStation Vita to my PC. As you can see, it detects it because it the flows Vita shell. With this magic. So now I have, since I downloaded the file from Freakler's tool, the EC installer. I'm just going to transfer it to my PlayStation Vita via USB. It all depends how you want to do it. FTP, Vita Shell. So now that we have the file in there, that's all we need to do with the PC. We don't need to do anything else. So we move on to the PlayStation Vita. As you can see, I had it on USB. So I'm going to go ahead and install that EC installer version 1061.bpk shouldn't take that long it's not big of a file so it'll just be like a moment okay cool now that we have installed that tool as you can see if you don't have the bubble it'll be jumping but if you already have the bubble it'll just be like a like normal so we're going to launch Adrenaline EC Installer and it's going to detect that you had an older Adrenaline installation found. So what we will do, we will go ahead and press X to delete that file. We don't need it anymore. It's going to run like a little system check so that I can delete all the uh, old information and then it'll transfer or recopy that information and move it for yourself so you don't have to do anything this tool does everything for you so it will reboot the system it should take just a moment as well now just remember to reinstall Hankaku So we launch Adrenaline EC Installer once more. So now it's going to do a system check really quick and then it's going to give us the option to install Adrenaline. So then you're going to select the game. Since I have a clone in there, if you want to know how to do that, check one of my previous videos. It's going to ask us, do you really want to install Adrenaline? Of course I want. So then it'll read our path for our system where to install it 
and as always it'll reboot it again just remember to install Enkaku once more shouldn't take that long now we're going to launch the game or our adrenaline as you can see it's gonna ask us to install the firmware to our system it's gonna run through its process just don't do anything to the PlayStation Vita just let it be then it's gonna ask you to press X so that it can boot to the PSP's XMB then you do your little settings and now we have the new Adrenaline version 2 from the flow. Let's go to settings. So now we're going to press R1, then R1 again. And now the graphics have improved with this new update. So we're going to select advanced double A. So just remember to leave it advanced double A so that your graphics look smoother. Also, smooth graphics, press yes. And now for the screen, it's pretty cool. You can change its size. So I just left it at 2.0. And then the memory stick, it's at UXO, PSP EMU. Also shout out to the flow. Thanks for adrenaline, Team Molecule, Freakler. This is pretty cool. Shouldn't take that long. Maybe it took me like 10 minutes or less to just do this update. Actually, probably didn't take that long. So now I'm just going to run an ISO I love so much, the third birthday. As you can see, Adrenaline is working. As you can see, this is pretty cool. I love this game. So guys, if it helped, hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. As always, Gamers Rebirth, out.